hello good afternoon good morning good evening my fellow creative designers and content creators welcome once again to another exciting episode and in today's episode we are going to design this beautiful church flyer i created in photoshop and i feel like sharing the tutorials with you step by step on how i was able to achieve this from scratch to the finish and if you look at it don't worry i'll share you all the resources file and then the psd file as well for you to just check it out so please if this is the first time coming across my channel please subscribe like and share turn on the notification bell to receive any update that i post on this channel and learn more remember this tutorial is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial so even if you are a beginner and you want to practice it just stick around get closer and open your photoshop and let's learn together so you launch the photoshop successfully and press ctrl and to open a new document so it's loading to open a new document okay so this is what how it will pop up and i'm going to just write the name and um, join us this sunday Join us this Sunday, church flyer, and then the width is 2000, height 2000, resolution 300, specifically it's going to be for social media handles, and then we are using pixel per inch and 8 bits, just choose the background to be white, and then everything is okay, click on create, and then you are good to go. So this nice interface comes with me, and then the first thing we are going to work on is the background and then the background i'm going to use a gradient code so hold on whilst i give you the hex code okay so let's get the code we we'll just go back to we we'll just move to this side and go to the gradient overlay and then let's go don't worry i've set the gradient already but i'll still give you the hex code and if you look at here it's 191654 191654 and that is it and then this side is 43C6AC, 43C6AC, and that is it. So you click on OK, and then come and click OK here. And we are choosing a radar, and then we'll choose a reverse of it. Then we push it to this side a bit, and then the angle is 90, and everything is OK. So we click on OK that is awesome let's maintain this for the meantime and then we'll come and do the next thing so let me put this and this in a group and then call it bg or the background so bg for short and that is it so let me okay i think that is okay for now so the next thing i'm going to do is to just work with the the logo that is the church logo or let's go set here guy a view guide and the new guy layout and we set here to five by five and i think it's okay so we are going to make sure that it doesn't exceed some of our lines okay so i'll import the logo um i have it here and where are you where are you where are you where are you i think it's here so just drag it and then drop it into photoshop sorry drag it over here good nicely and that is it so push it over there and that is it this makes up the church name and logo or i can call it logo all right so in case you have a logo already and if you look at the text is a blue and then it's falling on a blue background so what you are going to do is that just select this one pick this um, uh, rectangular marking tool and pick the first one and then draw some nice good and then press ctrl j to duplicate that one double click hit the side and then let's go and change the color so go to oval uh, color overlay and then pick a color white if yours is not there you pick a color white to make it different from the blue one so now realize that now the blue is showing clearly whilst the white too is showing so the name is awesome showing so that is it and then the next thing is you are going to pick a t on the keyboard or if it's not showing you click here to pick the test tool or the typing tool then let's deal with our typing so pick the first one and then i'll just hit here boom 
and then type join us join us so that is okay and then i'll come to this side and pick a stretch stretch font i have it over here already and then where are you okay stretch font and that is it i'll just uncheck the italic and then control t to select it and then open it up like this good so it falls this side and change the color to white guys we just want it to be quick so duplicate this one hold alt and then drag it to this this side join us this good so in order to get this big or long s press the s twice this s and then it tends to be very very stretch and then you open it up like this good 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 i think let me make it big let me make it big good okay so join us this then the other test will follow sunday good so that is it that is it that is it and i think the sunday i need to close up this side a bit good 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 maybe 120 minus 120 is okay and then i'll push it up using the arrow keys and i think this is awesome now so this and this and then let me transform it to this side awesome 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 good then the next thing is pick the rectangle to sorry and then come and draw your nice rectangle beneath it like this and then let me stretch here let me stretch here to this side and i think that is awesome over there okay so with this one too i've copied the layer gradient and then i'll paste it over here and don't worry i'll show it to you if you open it it's always here and this is it this side is ff9966 ff9966 and then you click ok and come and choose this side to ff5e62 ff5e62 and that is it so you click on ok here and the reverse was unchecked and then the linear and then angle 90 scale 150 and that is okay and then you go and pick your details such as we brought the location yes we brought the location so double let me opens up here a bit and then we said the location is the the church auditorium or uh, maybe okay and then we just push it on top like this and then control j to duplicate it and then push it down use the arrow key to push it down and then we just type the location maybe currently where i am currently so i'll just put the location maybe um so maybe for the purpose of tutorials that's why i'm using this as my location so in case you are designing it for a client you can use the real location from your client yes you can use the real location from your client and i'm going to change the font from that to montserrat yes i don't want the same font i'll just double click on the main thema committee 25 and i'll choose something black to make it different from the others and then use the arrow key to push it up and then let me close this side i think it's Yeah, let me use this side to close it up a bit and i'm sure maybe if i set it to 10 to okay i think this is okay but rather i need to open the rectangle i need to open it up uh -huh. good 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 and then this auditorium must go up or uh, what do you think let's add church auditorium yes yes church auditorium in that it communicates well 
and then use your arrows or maybe you can use just push it to the side basically let's reduce it it's too big and it's taking enough space over there so this also come to the side uh, what do you think I think we, need, we still need to clear this from there good and then scale it up scale it up good 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 so that is it and then go and bring your location icon let me see if I have it over here if I don't have it over there then okay I have one here but basically I think I use this one any of them can go so just drag it and then release it on top and then we we'll change the color to white we don't want it to be black change the color to white so that side you double click it at this side anywhere and then go to overlay and then it's the color is already changed to white so you push it to this side and that is it 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 so maybe um okay we are supposed to group them from scratch so this and this control G makes the theme or let's call it theme and then that and that control G then you call it location all right all right all right all right so now we are going to work with time date and contact details and then we are done with the flyer okay so with the date to just pick your rectangle and draw a nice rectangle like this very fine and then i have copied the gradient overlay already so i'll show it to you i double click it and then it shows nicely so it's a gradient overlay as i said and then this side something like a violet good so this is the hex code 3c1053 3c1053 so click ok and then come and choose this side to as ad3 sorry ad5389 ad5389 so that is it and that is it everything is okay we didn't do reverse and everything is okay so click on click on okay and then come and type your 8 pm assuming the time is 8 pm so that is it control t then scale it up and push it on top push it on top so this and this selected let's center and align let's center and align good so now it's centered and align awesome 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 so this and this call it time and then control j to duplicate all and then push it to the side we are going to put maybe the few details on it okay so that is it and we we'll click on this and then stretch this side to maybe this side and good that is it for now all right so this one we are going to do a reverse of the gradient we don't want to be reflecting from the same side so we are going to reverse it this way good and then in so doing we have the it's dropping on it while the violet is at the top and then we are going to put the pastor's name so the pastor's name is pasta sorry pasta james okay so that is it for now we'll close close the side to 10 and let's see and i think 10 to is too much so let's open it small to something like 15 15 is awesome 15 is awesome 15 is awesome and then let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see let's turn here paragraphing to the side and i think it's awesome now uh, 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 uh okay okay so that is it 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 uh, what do you think let's make it this way yeah i think this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome so we are going to pick some rect a uh, triangle and then draw a small oh no no it's not a, a square so delete it and then you pick a rect a triangle rather yes and then hold shift and draw a nice 
triangle like this and then you are going to pick a color from this side either any color from this side can go yeah and then control t and then let's turn it this way and come and sh check here and write 90 yes and then it turns nicely good 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 so then t again on the keyboard and write width width and we are going to use that one we are going to use a thing taken by watches yes taken by watches calves and everything off and then control t scale it up and bring it on top like this use the arrow key to adjust it nicely and then let it fall this side maybe this should go back a bit yeah just position it well position it well and then change the color of the weight from white to any of these colors good so pick any color from there and then it blends nicely and then this and this becomes then oh sorry 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 we did it inside we did it inside okay this the name all right and then maybe you draw another rectangle or oh, no there was no rectangle because if you look at the original design there was no rectangle beneath it. Okay, so now the next thing is, I think, we left it the date. And the date we chose was 14th July. 2024. And we use a Montserrat font. We use a Montserrat font. And then Montserrat all caps. Let's make it bold or extra board and i think it's okay now so we stretch it stretch it like this and then awesome 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 position it carefully so we duplicate that one and then we brought for more info for info so that one was very small was very small and then you push it to this side control j to duplicate it and then the contact details follow good so and then the contact details still monserrat but we are using black and then we stretch the beneath one yes to make sure it's in line with the first one and then let's scale it up a bit like this and i think it's awesome it's awesome so for more info you should go up and then let's change that color from this to white awesome 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 and then this with this control G and call it contact details all right so that is the contact details and once we are done let's get some image on top let's get some image on top which image which image where is the image i used originally where is the image i used originally okay maybe if i'm not getting it maybe we can still use an image from this side Let's see if we can just drag this image into it and then bring it here. Right click it and then turn it this way because it was facing the side. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. And I think even this image is, is, is okay with it. Okay, maybe let's go and see if we can get another image. Let's see, maybe let's check this one which one of them will fit the flyer and i think this is also not bad at all this is also not bad at all let's scale it up and see and push it to this side and i think if we use this it's awesome but it's going to affect it means we need to be reducing some size and other things so i think this is awesome let's stretch this rectangle so that it can go 
underneath the image. This to let's stretch it so that it can go underneath the image. Awesome, 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 awesome. And then close them, close them. So I think that is awesome. And the next thing is we brought some. Okay, let's put this in a group and call it image. All right, so that is it. And then we brought some glows. So let's go and work on the glow. Okay, so with the glows, we add layer marks, or sorry, a layer, and then come and pick a color. Okay, you pick this color. It's a color from this side. And that is it. So you click on the brush tool, and then you open up the brush, and then hit here, one, and then go to your blending option and set it to something nice. You can set it to either overlay or soft light. I think overlay is okay. And then let's get here as well. Or better still, this is okay. So just control J to duplicate it and then bring it down something like this. Let's reduce the size. And then let's see another blending option and see if we can get something different. Um, I'm not sure we are getting something. I'm not sure we are getting something. I'm not sure we are getting something, but maybe this is okay for the meantime. And then we brought something. Let's go and look for it and bring it on it. Guys, we need to do exactly what we said we are going to do. So this is what we brought. Drag it into Photoshop and then we scale it up. Hold the Alt and scale it up and see the blending option. And let's set some blending option to it. Let's set some blending option to it. Blending option. Please, with the blending options, I'm sure maybe you go through and you check the one that you fit that. So we set it to soft light and I'm sure it will be fine. And once that is set to soft light, you realize it adds some things in the screen. So let's go to the side, be on the keyboard, reduce the brush size a bit. Good. And I think it's okay. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. And then this and that in a group control gene and call it glows. Yeah, glows because it's made up of, I think, three details. So if you look at it, you realize that it has changed the design entirely. And then the last thing is in the background, we added something. We added something. So let's go and look for it in our resources. Um, where are you? 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 And it's this. Drag it into Photoshop and then leave it or release it this way. Then scale it up. Always scale it up. But we scale it up and we didn't fit all the size. All the size. No, that is not what we are looking for. Or that is not what we were looking for. And then you set a blending option for it and see which one will be awesome for you and i think this is also not bad this is not bad at all this is not bad but for the purpose if we are going according to this tutorials then this is what we selected and guys i'm not sure we are done yet and i think that is it that is it that is it that is it but it's not done here once we are done control alt shift and e to merge everything into one layer and then you have it over here like this so right click it and then go to uh, convert you convert it to smart object then go to filter and then camera or filter and let's boost the whole design let's boost everything up let's boost it up that is what we always do over here so whilst we are waiting for the camera raw effect to pop up i will still plead with you to subscribe to my channel if this channel has been helpful to you please then you need to subscribe to the channel and let's grow together so it's ready to push here to this side and guys keep pushing till you get something you want something you are looking for something that look great for you so keep pushing it till you get that nice thing you are looking for 
I always say that when you are designing, you are the originator of that design. So anything that comes out, you are the original creator of it. People will duplicate your work, yes, and then maybe they will add some different format to it and then make it yours. But if you look at the originality, you are or you owns it, yes. And once you are designing and you make a mistake, don't worry at all because you knew what you are doing. And then maybe once you are done, other people will look at it and say, oh, if you do this this way, if you do it this way, or if you do this this way, it could be helpful. But guys, once you were designing, you owns everything. So guys, I think I'm okay. So let's look at the before and after. And if you look at this before and after, you realize that the after looks great. Even if you look at the image, the face of the picture, looks popping and then i'm okay with it so i'll click on okay and then it will be applied to the design guys now you see let's look at the before and after and it looks great it looks great it looks very very great so please we are done this is how i was able to achieve this awesome flyer in photoshop please subscribe to my channel like and share and let's grow together i'll post the link to all the resources plus the free PSD file for you to download, practice them and then send it to me and let's talk. All the links, including my WhatsApp channel and everything or my WhatsApp platform, links will be posted under the description for you to follow and let's learn together. I love you. I'll see you in the next tutorials. I love you. Bye for now.